Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Like that. And you are the injection one. I'm going to let you work in a pharmacy if we do get a pharmacy. And diagnostics, actually that one there, cardiology is diagnostic. So when we're able to get that one, we will put you in there as well. And you can, you're can you going to be a treatment nurse, so you're going to be allowed to do treatments in those other ones over there. And then we've got the assistants over here. Marketing. Right, well, we'll let them do everything. And you are upgrade machines and ghost capture. You are neither. You could do, Marnie Fuddle could do a bit of training. We might do that. I'm not going to worry about it for a minute. Okay, I've got those sorted out. Let's go like that. Right now, I have now got another diagnosis room, which is the ward over here. There's one other thing that I could do with doing, to be honest, and that is putting an extra bench or two near the ward so that patients have got somewhere that they can come and go. Fracture em Cure eight patients with nasty... There's been an outbreak of fracture ward-related illnesses after a recent eclipse led to widespread falling down. There's a group looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients should we have them sent here. Loans. Pause a second. How much is a fracture ward? I've got one nurse at the moment that can work a fracture ward. It's 13,600 estimated cost so for a loan we ought to be all right for a 50 th we'll do 50,000 to start with we'll take a full 50 grand on there and we will say yes um, have them come here then we want to go here for the fracture ward. a doctor discovered a new illness a nasty trip so called as the fracturing as a result of a nasty trip Caused by poor coordination, unseen tree roots, and getting distracted by illusionary posters. The patient is seeking treatment. We'll need to build a fracture ward. Get patient to wait. Patient with nasty trip is seeking treatment. Get patient to wait. They can all wait. Okay. Then we want to go in here. We want the actual fracture ward. I've got the money for it. I have got the money for it. I want another nurse that has got the ward training, though. I am going to want that. So there's that ward. Thinking actually, oh, well, I got diagnosis there and diagnosis there. That ward is also able to be used for diagnosis. I'm thinking that we build our fracture ward down over this way somewhere. That will give me a 5 by 3. That's going to be a 5 by 4. It's got to be a minimum of a 4x3. I'm going to go with a 5x4 on this room. It's going to be a big room. You can't put it in the corner, the door. The door has got to be over a bit. So we'll drop the door down there. That's no good. That door has got to move. Uh, is there enough room to put it there? Nurse station. Right, we can drop that one down there. And then we need the... Traction beds. One here. One here. And... Can I fit two of them in here? I don't think I... No, I definitely cannot fit two more in. But what I could do is I could put that one down there. And then we can take the plaster caster. That one... Can go right in there for the final part of this room. And then we want some wall monitors for each of these beds, I would say. So we'll put a wall monitor there for that one. We'll put one there for that one. And we will put one there for that one. We will not worry about the bedside tables or the lockers. Uh, or the medicine cabinets. We will save our money a little bit. We will put in a toxic bin. We'll put a recycling bin next to it. We'll put a fire extinguisher in over here. And we'll put in some hand sanitizer into this hospital. Where am I going to put hand sanitizer? Uh, Alright, I'll put the recycling bin over here. Like that. 
And I put the hand sanitizer on the wall right there. So I've got three beds in here, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. And then I need an aircon unit. That one can go in there, and that's going to keep the room nice and cool. Well, sort of. I'm hoping it will. That's good enough, I think. That, that'll keep that one going just for a little bit. And I've now got a little bit of extra money. So there's one other thing that I want to do. I want to go over to here and I want to edit this room. And I want to put some wall monitors on here for each of these beds. So actually, I want to put them above the bed. So this is what I want to do. I want to put a wall monitor above each of the beds. So that's going to give us an extra 6% on treatment and diagnosis in this room it is it can cost me three grand to do that but i think it's worth it one for each bed that's all i'm doing i'm not i'm not going to do anything extra i'm not going to do anything more than that then i want to go to items i want to put a couple of bamboo benches outside like this we'll put three of them down we want to put a is there any water nearby there is not so we will put a water drinker right there like that we will put a bin over here we will put uh an aircon unit down that one will go that can't go there i'll put the aircon unit over there like that it's just made it a little bit more bearable over there and i'm going to do the same here i'm going to put an aircon unit that one's going to go right there make it bearable in front of the door just a little bit then we will put a rose bush over there for a bit of hospital attractiveness and i'll put one down here and it's sort of going to be where the corridor is going I, oh I don't know about up there but uh oh no i can put one next to that bench there right we put that one into there and then We'll put one out there for a minute. I can always get rid of that one and move it away. We need to we need to make sure that we reduce patient boredom as well. Patient, keep visitors entertained and well fed. The hospital is reasonably attractive, but they've got to be entertained alongside it. Let's go with the leaflet stand. I'll bring, a, bring one of the old leaflet stands out. That one can go there next to that one and we'll put a leaflet stand over there as excuse me put one over there as well so far so good i'm liking what i see here here come the fracture ward folks they are on their way in big time we've got nurse albert teeth over there who is ready to get his teeth into things we're waiting on a nurse over here nothing's happening there at we're the moment that you dropped on our floor. And we could do with a new training course. So let's have a look in here a minute. We've got courses available, trainers available, trainees available. We've got a doctor. We've got Nurse Albert Teeth. He's busy. I don't want to interrupt him at the moment. He's got um, some very important fracture patients to take care of. We've got two janitors over here. And neither janitor is trained in this. We want to go there and there. And we want to go to trainers available. Pandora Pleb can train in training masterclass, I'm assuming. And then we've got emotional intelligence. We, we've got those. I don't want to train in those. I want course of I want maintenance. Maintenance is the course that I want. And then I've only got you, so you're you're going to have to do that. It's 15 to 20 days to train that one. So there we go. We've got maintenance right there. I've lost a load of money doing that, but that's fine. A little bit of money going into just just making sure that everything is, is working. My janitors are still not picking everything up. We've still got a lot of litter lying around. This, is, this isn't particularly great, having litter lying around. I just had someone die, I think. Janitor to repair Jackmaster. Right, well, the janitors are a little bit busy right now. Let's speed things up a bit, shall we? Let's see if this doctor has got this this doctor, this nurse. Diagnosis, uh, get them to wait. We're only 65% sure. So a lot of patients are queuing for services run by assistants. Patient to wait. They should, are both the assistants on a break at the moment? 
That's, that's, that's pretty poor, that is. At least at the moment, we are having wellness funding covered. We're, like, everything is being covered. We're using upgraded machinery and qualified staff to have a decent cure rate. Wellness index. Staff happiness. Pay well. We're basically, as staff... Right, we've, we've had someone there who... Ooh. Patient has given up waiting for new diagnosis rooms and is storming out. This will be bad for our reputation. That is not good. My wellness index has just gone down. Reputation. Word of mouth. This, this is not good. I haven't got the money to build a new diagnosis room. That was my problem. Eco rating. Someone from the Department of Green Things will be coming to the hospital to conduct an eco rating soon. Apparently there's a big debate coming up soon and a good rating would really help out the mayor. I'm not sure what that's got to do with us, but they seem pretty convinced. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital. Marnie Fuddle is ready for promotion from intern janitor to junior janitor. So if we do that, then Marnie Fuddle is going to be a lot happier with live training course complete. Maintenance. That one is now done. I have had a cure right there. That's good. So we've got one cure and one fail. Someone has, is arriving in the hospital. There's more people coming in for nasty trip. I need I need these to all be treated. Let's let's just leave those to it a minute. We we've got other things that we need to worry about. I got a lot of people over here. Point Radio. It is time to leave the woes of your petty, pointless little lives behind and listen to the fountainhead of wisdom that is I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, here on Two Point Radio. Okay, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. So apparently if I go all the way up to there, we get a green happy face rather than just a yellow happy face. Uh, they're not happy. So I'm wondering if I should, in order to get this bit working, pay well, provide a nice working environment. In order to get the staff happiness up higher, uh, staff morale is currently 74%. Maybe I should be going for the green happy face up there. That is a lot of money, though. Right, it's 23,000 there, and that one's 20... You know, it's only 2,000 more. All right, let's, let's start going for green happy faces now, all the way through. Unfortunately, we failed to complete the request from Melissa Diamond. Didn't quite manage to get the 100,000 in time. I got a patient here that is waiting for further diagnosis. I don't yet have a cardiology room available. And my janitors have had some more training. So I'm hoping that the janitors are going to be able to go out and pick up some more. You know I'm going to have to just wait until I've got more janitors I mean, I'm more money, and then more janitors. Staff promotion! Josiah Jazz is ready from nurse to junior nurse. I could do that. We'll see. We'll put that one up to there. She can go up to... Is it she or he? Uh, a green face, like there. So we want green happy faces. And I'm going to go for another diagnosis room over here. 7,580 that I've got right there. Car oh, no. Cardiology is 7,600. I need a bit more money. Just a little tiny bit more money. All right, that's gone down. Diagnosis decision. We can ask them to wait. Uh, get patient to wait. Right, okay. Never mind that. We will simply take out a loan. I'll repay that loan there so that we can come back to that one. But it's going to save us a little bit on our monthly expenses by doing it like that. That means then I can come down to here. We can go to rooms. We can go to cardiology. And we can go for a 3x3 three three room now. I'm going to put the door in there like that. I'm going to have that one there. We're going to put a wall monitor up near... Actually, we're going to put the wall monitor there, sort of in front of them, so they can see what's going on. And we will put a medicine cabinet in this room as well, like that. Then we will go with a toxic waste bin. That one can go there. We will put a recycling bin right next to it there. We'll put a fire extinguisher in the room. We will put some hand sanitizer on the wall to keep things nice and sanitary. And we will put a air conditioning unit in here. That one's going to go in the middle of the room there like that. I will put a rose bush in the corner of the room over there. 
And that is everything that I need in order to make that room fully operational. I don't need anything else in there. I don't. Wait, what? Oh, there. There, that's what I need to do. 10,000 right there. Next, we're going to go and we're going to go to higher in here. Janitors, I've got two, but I... That they still don't seem to quite be doing what I want them to do. I'm thinking that I go for someone who's got ghost capture just to allow them. And they've also already got the maintenance skill so we can upgrade them all together. Will work for peanuts and is also charming, which is absolutely fantastic. I got so many plants that need watering at the moment. I'm thinking that it would be a good idea if we had extra janitors so that they can like help do the plant watering because we have got an awful lot of those assigned then i want to go to my uh higher i've got five nurses on the books at the moment you having ward management and diagnostics together would probably be pretty good i'm thinking winston piggott with just ward management might also be good you got treatment Diagnostics, ward management, that means that the injection administration is kind of a waste. Uh, Agnes Junk over here, she's got a short temper. What about World Work for Peanuts experiences bakery-induced shame? I'm going to take you and I'm going to train you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you right there and I'm going to train you for ward management. So I've got a second ward manager. We will go to the staff list over here and we will go like this. My doctors at the moment, I'm still waiting to decide what to do with that spare doctor. She can go and work in the GP's office. Nurses. So you are working in the wards. I've got Josiah Jazz, who is not going to work in pharmacy. You are not going to work in pharmacy either. You're going to be ward management, and I'm going to train you now for ward management so that you can go and work in one of the two wards. That's going to be your first bit of training. And then we'll get some other training going on with diagnostics. So you, when you're ready, this one here, he's read. Josiah Jazz is ready for more training. We don't want you working in a ward. We don't, actually, Josiah Jazz, I think we do want you working in a ward at the moment. But we won't have you working in those rooms. We will leave those out for a minute. Uh, you're ready for training. So I can either go injection administration two or I can go for treatment that particular patient uh, uh person that nurse so you ward management ward management is the first bit of training i'm going to do so we'll go into our training room our super mega training room and i will go to ward management right there and trainers available i'm gonna bring an outside person in in spite of that because i need you to keep working uh, trainers, uh, trainees available is going to be that one right there and start training. 15,000 for you. Wait a minute. Uh, staff, you right here. So I've got cardiology. I got diagnostics there. I got two for diagnostics and you got diagnostics as well. Josiah Jazz is potentially allowed in the ward at the moment, but that will change. All right, that's, 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 that's fine. Go like that. I should have somebody along for this one fairly soon. I go to items, bamboo bench. If you're thinking of checking yourself into a Holistics commune or purchasing one of their many risible products, I can save you the considerable expense, not to mention social embarrassment, by offering an alternative. Simply rub some basil on your dead hair and howl at the moon. The results <laughs> will be the same. <laughs> rub some basil on your dead hair and howl at the moon. Sad that we didn't get enough patients cured. We only cured three out of eight. This has damaged our reputation. This is not good. We don't want to be damaging our reputation. Staff training required. Not now. Don't. No, I'm not going to train you just yet. Staff promotion. Melissa Diamond is ready for promotion from student doctor to junior doctor. Yes. And I will put you up to the green happy face like that. Lost and found report. Machine cog. Use. Unspecified. <laughs> okay. 
Use unspecified. Have you considered promoting some of our staff? I've just been promoting people. I've literally just been doing that. What I'm hoping, though, is... Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Cure rate is down ever so slightly. I need that cure rate to go up. Training course complete, ward management. Now, I got 16 people here waiting to go into this doctor's surgery right here. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to make a new doctor's surgery. And the doctor that I've got hanging around, that's going to be the next bit of training that we do. I'm going to go to trainers available. And I'm going to take Dr. Melissa Diamond, is our junior doctor. Trainees available is the student doctor right there. Yes, we will take you, and courses, general practice. That is 29 days. This is potentially going to damage our reputation to start with, because I'm not going to have a doctor to work general practice for a month. But we will have to see. Holistics will now cover 97% of our total running costs. Plants need water. Eco Rating, the Department of Green Things, has let us know that we scored a green tastic on our latest Eco Rating. The hospital could run forever without causing any kind of cataclysmic end of times, and funnily enough, that's exactly what the department have been trying to promote. <laughs> okay. A impressive VIP reward $15,000. I thought the potential was 5000 if that's the case, we've really impressed with our hospital, which is absolutely fantastic. An additional 15 grand. Achievement unlocked, environmentally friendliest. I need to go here and I need to get another one of those. I want to copy that bad boy right there. And I want to put this one down somewhere. I'm kind of thinking that I'm literally just going to plonk that one down over here like this. And I'm not going to do anything different. I'm just going to put it there. 7,790. So I've got an additional room. Then I'm going to go to items. And we're going to take a log bench for this one. I'm going to put one there. One there. And I'm going to put a couple of them over here as well. I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to put one over there. And also going to go down this way. Uh, we'll put a recycling bin out on that corner right there although there's plenty of bins around already so i don't really need to worry about that i don't think an air conditioning unit out on this side would probably help the situation somewhere let's put that one there and i will put one over there as well that's it's not too cold it's not too hot just right there we've reached the goldilock zone right there so i'm going to put a leaflets down there to give people something to do and then we want a rose bush here we'll take a sunflower over here and it's just generally making the place look a little bit nicer i'm also going to plonk a sunflower down over there like that that's making the hospital look a bit nicer. I've got another doctor's surgery over here so that people can spread out a little bit. I've got the two GPs in here. It's going to take them a day or two to finish that, but it won't be too long. And then the GPs will be able to sort of spread out between the two. Something went wrong there. There's a few things going wrong. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We could be sending people direct to treatment. Have I, have I actually got that? I don't know if I've got that one at the moment. Uh, let's go to money, overview, uh, policy in here. Fast track treatment decision. Ah, right. There. Allows diagnosis staff to send patients directly for treatment when a diagnosis certainty is at or above a certain threshold, which is 90%. Okay, I want that one in place because I just seen a patient that was above the required amount and they were waiting for a GP's appointment. We can upgrade our jab master. Okay, I've actually got the money to do that now. And there's nobody over here at the moment either. So upgrade that one it takes 37 days to upgrade it, but that's, that's fine. It'll be worth the wait. You are almost done. Then I've got two GPs in the hospital. I'm actually seriously considering taking a hit to reputation at the moment. 
Revenue. Clear required. Dead patient in the corridor. Okay. Course complete general practice. Yeah, what I was seriously considering doing here was looking at both of the doctors. Uh, courses available. I've got general practice. Oh, I've only got one trainee available for this. Dr. Melissa Diamond. Right, don't do that then. Is that actually going to do both the doctors together? Right. Melissa Diamond. Yeah, it's not you that I want to look at. It's you that I want to look at. You are... Experience in current rank is 49 out of 125. But I kind of need you to go up a bit higher. I kind of need you to go up a bit higher than you are right now so that then I can promote you. I've got Rosebush here that is not looking healthy. Now, I got three janitors currently working in this hospital. They still haven't cleaned everything up. Like, this is a big and now, hospital. my ever-popular guide to good manners, in which I turn my attention to wedding etiquette. The first step should always be to decline the invitation. Should that prove impossible, perhaps you are the best man, or heaven forfend, the groom, then pay attention to every detail of the ceremony and banquet so you may later criticize them in a loud, obnoxious voice. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting approach to everything. So we've got a lot of litter still sort of kicking around the hospital. We've got a lot of plants that need watering. And this means that it's like these these plants here, that they're not doing very well, are they? They need a lot more watering. And we've also got the maintenance and stuff like that. I'm wondering if another janitor would be a good idea. Ooh. Docs have discovered a new illness, foot in mouth, an infection, an infection of the judgment gland caused by double yolks and too many group chats. Sufferers will keep saying the wrong thing and must be cured before they really blow it and swallow themselves whole. We'll send the patient for treatment in our injection room. Right, so we could really do, like, the injection room. That one's becoming quite an important room for us in this hospital, which means... Oh, visitor from Holistics. Rival executive and CEO of Holistics, Augustus Lavender, will be coming to the hospital soon. You may see him drawing rough sketches of our equipment to burn later in bad luck rituals. He's pretty harmless, but we should keep an eye on him in case he becomes a nuisance. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital, and we can gain eight reputation points if we do well. So this bad boy over here is getting more illnesses that need to be treated... And it's almost upgraded now. That's actually quite a good thing, being almost upgraded. So what we're going to want to do then is... Actually, I don't need to worry about that at all. That one, that one can just stay as it is. I, I don't need to change anything over there. I'm wondering if I should put in another set of toilets. If we had another set of toilets over here, say there... People don't have so far to go. We've got some to... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. That's, that's going to be one little expense that we can do. So if I do a copy of that one, and I bring you all the way down over here and rotate you round. Uh, I'll put you right there in the middle, I think, just for a minute. We'll drop you down there, 7,800 there, like that. And we will go to items. What should we put outside here? I've got a bin on the inside of it. We want to put an aircon unit. That one can go in that corner there. And then I'll do another one over there. So we've got some aircon going on this one. We will put... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later